you got you can put these earphones on and and they'll give you conversational Spanish or French or anything you want to go to and they guarantee and so uh, many weeks that they'll have you where you can go converse at least enough to get along in a country a while maybe you can't write it but you can talk it and understand it well God says if you'll put them earphones on at night when you go to bed and begin to learn from the ready reader right here and get in it and, and put it in you before your eyes in the morning, before your eyes at lunch, in the afternoon and at night, when you go to bed, go to bed, listen. It even talks about training your children like that. When you go to bed, train your children with this. You'll finally learn how to speak. And you know what it will do for us as men and women of God? It will cause us to get in one accord. It will cause us to agree with one another because we will have one language. And he said, listen what he said. The Lord said, behold, they're one people. They have one language. And this is only the beginning. He said, declarations is only the beginning. Your speech is only the beginning. But what it does, it sets a spiritual law into motion that empowers the men and women of God to come together and nothing will be impossible. If nothing's impossible for the people that are going against God, if they're in one accord, how much more for the church? Now listen. He says, it's only the beginning of what they will do and nothing they have imagined. Turn over to Ephesians 3.20, somebody. Ephesians 3.20. Is this on, Brother Mark? Okay, Ephesians 3, come up here, Paul. Stand, don't get in front of that speaker. Okay, stand right over and face the, con I want you to read uh, those couple of verses, Be, uh, Ephesians 3, uh, 19, 20. I want, now, now, wait before you read it. Now, now, God's saying here, if we're in agreement, if these people that's not even following his will, if he doesn't do something to stop them, whatever they imagine, they'll accomplish. Now read that portion of scripture. You know the one I'm talking about. That the power I'm going to start at 19. Yeah, uh, 19. To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask, think according to his power that works in us. Okay. See? What works in us is a spiritual principle connected to words that come in agreement with the body of Christ that we can come together corporately to have an anointing to do whatever God is saying and not, nothing will be impossible. It, it, it said, is that what version is that? King James. Anybody have an amplified? Okay, Tracy, come up here. Read 19. Start 19 there and read till I tell you to stop. That you may really come to know practically through experience for yourselves the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled through all your being unto all the fullness of God, may have the richest measure of the divine presence, and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself. Now to him who by in consequence of the action of his power that is at work within us is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly far over and above all that we dare ask or think. Or, now listen what it says. He leads into that. If we'll walk in the love of God, if we'll get ourselves in the presence of God, we'll come together. It releases the power of God inside of us to go beyond what you can think. Imagine is what he said here. Think or imagine or dream. 
finished. Infinitely beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. To him be glory in the church and in just in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So be it. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So what I'm saying here, we're coming into a new wineskin. That's what us men have been studying about. Sometimes it's hard to peck out of the old wineskin. It's like a bird being born. It's safe inside the shell. Have you ever seen an ostrich born? Uh, when the, sometimes a mother has to get down and help peck the shell off. They'll be pecking, getting out. It's hard to get out. It's hard to get out of an old religious uh, training. And the old religious training was good for the season, but we're coming into a new season that takes a new wine skin and new wine, a new move of God to get God's will done in the earth. And we need our vocabulary changed to line up with this so we speak the same way, act the same way, manifest the character of God the same way, and then we will have the glory of God manifest in a way that the whole church will... I think you'll be set free in such a way that there will be no trespassing on your turf. Because when we come together in unity and we can walk in unity together, the power will be so strong if we've got one, one link of the deal that gets a little weak one day, the link next to it will be so strong because of the unity of God in our midst and what we're saying. It'll pick that one up, help it, keep going, and we won't fall. But we will exceed what we even think. Don't you believe that? Now listen, he says this. So he said this, these guys are going against my will, but because they're saying the same thing, they're in agreement, whatever they imagine can be accomplished. Okay? That's what concerns me about the Muslims. They're in agreement. I mean, they come together. I don't care. There ain't no griping, fighting. If somebody fights, they'll just cut their head off. And so what they're doing is they're using a principle like the, tower, the people at the Tower of Babel was using. It's, a, it's going against the, the true will of God, but the principle works no matter who uses it, even if it's for bad things. And God has to go down, and he says this. Listen to what he says. Come, let us go down there and confound or mix up or confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from that place into the face of the whole earth and they gave up building the city and that's what's happened in the church. some degree when we understand that when God says something in his scripture we need to obey it some of you are running on false false security yesterday I had to go to Scottsdale got a good illustration for you guys and I could blame it on driving my wife's car I could blame it on not paying attention I could blame it on uh, somebody just passed me or I was passing somebody I had to speed up enough to get around it. Uh, I could blame it on a number of things instead of taking the blame myself but I come through Payson, and that car does fly. I mean, it, and I had me a radar detector in there and detecting the radar. And, and uh, I come bounding over one of those hills down there. Talk about false security. And I wasn't paying any attention, and I didn't have my foot on the accelerator. 